it is a dog-eat-dog -dog galaxy out there as the military might of the Nolan League battle against the Sakra Rood for control of the galaxy. Well, the AI has finally decided to declare war on someone. It's been a while. The Nolans are going after the Sakra. It's probably a, at the point where it's a bit too late for them. Because hopefully I'm going to be able to take everything within that system before they can get down here, but we'll see. Right, so Dagon Prime is in revolt, as we can see. So, uh, yeah, it looks like it's. Yeah, counting still as Illyrian, arguably. But uh, if we weren't at war, I think I might have been able to capture it without declaring war. Although, I don't know, to be honest, this is a. Actually, the first time I've managed to revolt anything within this game. So, uh, yeah, that actually comes straight home as well. It's not staying within their empire, which is arguably a bit of a pain. Right. So, yeah, they're at war. My uh, agreements with the Nolan both run out. The tech trade deal and the uh, trade treaty. So my money is a heck of a lot less than it used to be. Right, so I'm going to take a minute out then to hopefully renew the No Limb deal and do my build. Let's just have a look. Ah, my old friend. It turns out it's not really feasible to get a trade treaty with the No Limbs or do any sort of deal yet because they're out of money, sadly. So I'm going to wait a turn or two. Hopefully that will go back up and we'll be able to get a trade treaty and even trade some tech to them, possibly, to get my income back up. This is the current state of my build list this turn. I don't think I've bought anything. My recording schedule is a bit all over the place at the moment, so I'm recording on a different day again. Uh, so I'm trying to remember what I did. Uh, what else have I done? I've updated the blueprints, so I've made changes basically just to the cruiser and the skirmisher. So I wanted to try ECM on skirmisher, in hope that this will help with Mervs potentially, it's unlikely, but uh, it might have some effect. So I've also been able to add on a couple more uh, point defense as well. Uh, but we no longer have the repairing drones sadly on there. But what I have done, I've also changed the model for the skirmish as well, so it's now using that. And the cruiser, what I've done is basically add that onto the cruiser. So I've removed a few weapons, the attacks a bit less. But yeah, they now have these repair drones. So in effect, the cruiser is going to act like medic ships. I'm not sure if that's going to be the long-term role for my uh, cruiser ships. I may change the name at some point. The roles of my ships may change upcoming as well, though. When Titans come in, and there's a uh, anti-retreating device as well, which I'm going to want to stick on at least one of my ships in my fleet. Uh, will be semi handy against uh, yeah, certain things retreating that I don't want to retreat. Right, I've done the movement for this turn as well, so I split up the transports that I recently got down here. Three are going in that direction towards Dagon, two are going to come down here with uh, that battleship to probably go after Nymore. And then I can potentially go through, I think it's that wormhole to get up here. What else have I done? Uh, move factories all over the place, no doubt. I'm trying to remember now. Uh, but I've still got my main fleet to move this turn. So sadly, the Sakura have actually rebuilt something on these plants, which is an unexpected, frankly. I'm going to... Yeah, so I have to destroy them. That means I need to basically bring something to these that is capable of destroying them. Uh, battleship might be enough on its own, so I'm, yeah, I'm not really sure. Well, I could attack that this turn, then next turn split my fleet into two and try and take them both at the same time. That is an option, isn't it? If they rebuilt anything more than that, though, it could be an issue. Yeah, let's go after this then this turn. So I'm going to bring everything here including the damage destroyer which is debatable uh, haven't upgraded these for a while maybe I should have uh, 
Yeah, I could definitely arguably do with upgrading. I uh, brought a couple of bombers into that jump get as well. They're going to take a few turns though. Right, battleship. So troop, troop, troop. Troop, 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 troop. Right, so let's come down here. Victory chances look really good. Okay. Right, let's attack. What do they have? Not as much as they once had. Right, all defences, a battleship. Three, four destroyers and uh, colony ship, which doesn't matter. Let's take command. Okay, I've given my fleet basic commands mainly to attack the missile base, which happens to be there. The battleship seems to be the same design as the previous one or two I've faced. I can't remember if it's one or two. Uh, but uh, yeah, I'm definitely going to have to watch out for that in a bit. I'm not sure we had battleships last time I faced one, no. Right, let's get going anyway. So, looks like they're firing missiles off here. I'm bringing that one back. The other destroyers can come in though. Let's uh, try to get over here as quick as possible. That's going to have missiles there. Unlucky because there are nebblers here. That's going to help me out. Uh, that's... Yeah, it doesn't suggest it has moves, but we'll see. Okay. Right. Uh, oh, that's hanging back. I thought I was supposed to be coming in there. Why is that got sniper still? I'm sure I turned it off sniper. Okay, they look like uh, fragmented move missiles, so that is going to get pretty heftily damaged. Well, point defense won't even work at this stage. Right, uh, just haven't got that in yet. Yep, that definitely did get damaged. Let's pull that back. Uh, right, that's not good. Let's halt that. Let's have those move back. Okay. Gotta be careful with the nevers. Right. Come up there. Okay. Back and pull back. What the hell is that doing? Shot, it's gonna lose hit points. Okay, should think it did. Right, ah, uh, that's getting badly damaged. Good, can probably both come up there now. Right, uh, let's stick that on. Both of those can. That this has no, it doesn't have torpedoes, right? So, you don't have to worry about that. That's destroys way too far forward. Ship can halt. Come back a bit. Skirmish can move up. Point defense. Right, Mr. Base is down. Good. That's the end of the move. Worry. Uh, right. These destroyers. Looks like the shield is going to be bad. So let's pull this back. Let's. That is it. Take it that. Right. Get that forward. Don't 
know why that's staying there. Why is that coming up? Oops. Unnecessary damage there. That's mine as well, isn't it? Let's get that back out of the nabla. Right. Is that mine? No, that's what it is. Okay. What's that? My destroyers. <laughs> it's going on a uh, suicide mission, but let's get that out of there. Luckily, that's a good plan too. Right, uh, I need to pull that back. Let's get a pre wrecked. What are they? Well, that's point defense in the area. Should work on that. Cruiser is getting absolutely freaking mauled. Where's my skirmisher ship? Let's use that again. Okay. Oh, that's one of this. I didn't even realize I was still alive. Let's attack that. Let's hold that. It goes in there. Oops, too late. Right. Okay, right. Uh, this is taking a while, but uh, we're getting there. Hopefully that point defense works, because otherwise uh, it's going to get wrecked. Let's pull out of there quickly. Okay, well, we won. I took a bit more hit point damage than I maybe should have. And I've got a colony ship that I'm going to have to chase down. Yeah, so one of my crews has got pretty badly damaged. 
And to be honest, that was probably it, really. Maybe a small amount on in there for one as well. Which, uh, yeah, could certainly have been worse. Right, let's have a look at the colony. Eight marines, right, that's a good sight. Not too many. Okay, that's it bought currently then. Right, and yeah, let's bring the transports in then. So, I'll bring in two, first of all. Can't bring them to here this turn, sadly, then. So, come down there. Let's invade. Deploy. Brilliant. Let's have a look at this. So, it's a pretty good world, like all of these are going to be over here. Stick out food. And uh, I won't buy the Alien Management Center this turn because I might need the money next turn for the trade deal with um, the Nolems. Okay, it's definitely needs one there though. Right, so let's bring the first two there. Right, uh, could upgrade. Troop transport cell I can Well I can do this next turn, I'll figure it out then. Okay, next turn. Right, I think that might have been the biggest battle we've had. Definitely gonna be bigger than that coming up. That's a real crucial uh wound on the sacred though. So I think I might be able to take both of those this turn coming up, if I split my forces correctly. Might not have enough transports though, not sure yet. Uh, as mission success, so we've infiltrated that. So if we come in here, oh right, uh, let's revolt that. Start mission, 15 turns. Okay, so if I need to use that, well, we've got a spy there. Uh, they've got a fleet there still. Uh, there's a threatening fleet there. Let's do the automated movements. Okay, I'm going to take a minute out to update the build list. So this turn I was able to renew the trade treaty with the no limbs. I had to actually loan them some money, about 700 odd credits, which was for around 60 annual tributes, something around that amount I think it was. Sadly it meant I wasn't able to exchange tech for annual tribute and I won't be able to for 20 turns. To be honest though there wasn't arguably any tech that I wanted to really trade for money. So yeah it's not too much of an issue arguably but it does mean my income isn't at its highest point like it was a few turns ago. But uh, we're earning more than last turn now at least. So that's done. My build list looks like this. Hadn't got any money left to upgrade anything or buy anything though, so yeah, not an awful lot new going on there. I've done the movement for this turn. I've got a few tiny bits left, so I've got battleship and transports coming over here, battleship and transports coming over here, they're the main things in that area. Uh, what's that? I got that troop transport to move still. Bombers coming into that jump gate. Gotta move that factory still. Over here, I split my forces up a tiny bit. So I've got my transports waiting there on guard. That's what's left of my main fleet. And the rest of my main fleet has moved over to Gibber 3. And I'm going to attack whatever's within the system now which happens to be a missile base, did not want to see that. Let's take command. Okay, that was pretty easy. I don't think it fired off any move salvos there and fragment salvos. So, job done. Let's have a look at the colony. It's got 12, uh, 11 marines actually. I'm sure I had more than that before. 
Right, I think I'm going to have to use three transports on that. Luckily I've got five there and one there. Uh, first things first, though, I'm going to take a bomber out. I think there might be something I can blow up there. I'm not sure if I made it or they made it. It's probably the they made it. Okay. So, uh, let's get a transport down to there. Bomber can attack that. Right, let's get in two more transports. Over here. And yeah, let's attack. Be very surprised if I don't take this. Deploy. Brilliant. Leader leveled up. This guy's still on one of my destroyers. There's not much point in moving him though. You get Tempire credit bonus. That will certainly help. Wow, did that go up? Quite a bit then, actually. Uh, right, sure it's on 600 odd before. So that's job done over there. Let's move in this fleet to take out probably another missile base. Let's attack and take command. Okay, this combat's gonna be harder than the last one, definitely. So let's get the battleship back in front. Let's take them down. No skirmisher this time round, but I've got plenty of point defense. Um, problem is, if I take any damage, I've got no drones to heal up with. Let's bring those forward now. If it does target anything, it should be the battleship over. Easily done. Let's have a look at Colony. 13 Marines here. Now, it's possible I might have a small bonus that the Sacred don't have, like uh, Zortrium Armor. I'm not 100% sure if they have or not. So I think I'm actually going to try three transports here. If I were to bomb this, this, well, there's too much of a planetary shield to get through for ages. So yeah, I'm gonna use three transports. If this fails, I'm gonna have to get in more transports from somewhere over here. So, let's move three to there. Okay, and let's try this out. So if, say, I have a 10% advantage because it's Autrium or from something, that would be an extra 1.2, so I would have 13.2, which if it rounds up, or yeah, then uh, or the point two is enough, then I will take it. If it's not, then I will lose this. So let's deploy. No. So yeah, it's probably the same score then. So I lost that. That's a real pain. Real pain. They got seven left. I've got. Well, I'd probably just leave a battleship here, which should be able to take out a missile base on its own if it does remake it, in theory. And I'll bring the rest of my fleet back around here and then back towards the Mercians. Uh, right, so I've got to get at least two transports in here then. Let's bring that space factory down here. I think I'll use it to make a jump gate there. Build an outpost there in a bit. Uh, production this turn. Very good planet. Let's stick these guys over there. I could be buying marines and then build, buying transports when I get some money over here. That's definitely an option. Uh, let's get those robo miners made. Is it after making that? 
let's put that on. Get that done a bit quicker. Gonna lose the population this time, but oh well, it's not the end of the world. There's a transport here, which I didn't know where I was moving, and now I do know where it's moving. So let's move that over to there. And I can't buy any transport system. I don't think I've got any I can move over here either. Right, so let's end the turn. Get the advanced colony ship in a couple of turns. Wouldn't mind buying at least one of those. A little friendly barter will help both our races mind. thrive, don't you think? That's actually an interesting trade. It's going to be a while before I can get that, arguably. It's not too damaging, given the AI that. Yeah, I'm going to accept that just to keep relations high. I'm planning on spying on him soon, so... Uh, yeah, I kind of want to keep relations high. Let's accept. Excellent. It's a pleasure doing business with you. Okay, that lost population as expected. There's a threatening fleet, supposedly, down there. Uh, right, let's do the Automated movement this turn. Right. So I'm going to be getting my main fleet apart from one battleship now, I think. Back over to there. And maybe over there. Okay, I'm going to take a minute out then to update the build list. This turn I've actually decided to do a bit more espionage. So I've sent a spy over to the Mersion to infiltrate their empire. That's something I wasn't... I uh, plan on doing, but there are now reasons to do so. I'm also going to do it on a human, so this does risk lowering relations, uh, which could potentially be an issue. And it could really be a big issue, actually, if the Nolums were to declare war on me. This is not a good sight. They're moving a huge fleet into my space. Why? I don't know. Probably to get at the Sacra. Hopefully not to start a war against me. I think actually that may be a separate outpost having, yeah, pretty damn sure it is actually. And they've got round to destroying it. So I think that's why they're coming down there, luckily. Uh, right, so I've got uh, my build list to show you if well, as well, of course. I haven't bought anything so I don't have an awful lot of money. A couple of new battleships coming in and a ton of infrastructure getting done. I don't think I'm going to buy any of the alien management centers that are getting built. They're not too distant away from getting built anyway in terms of number of turns. I've done basically all of the movement I needed to do this turn. So I've moved my entire fleet back to here apart from one battleship or my main fleet. Uh, it's not really I'm not in a massive rush to get transports here, so I think I'm just going to ferry them rather than buy them here uh, at some point. I've got a couple of bombers which arrived there. I've got one transport there. Transport was built on Mentar. It's going up to that jump gate. Uh, I've got battleship and three transports down here, which should be able to take Dagon soon. And I moved the destroyer over recently and a couple of transports. And they're coming up there. That's it, basically, for my movement. So, let's send it out. Right. New technology this turn. I think I probably will take everything in the hammer system. Ooh, that's not good. And t oh, maybe it is good. And Tyrant Portal Generator. This colony structure allows transforming the star of the system into a portal to the Antaran dimension. Even without me, our scientists have made a new discovery. Right, so we've got this ability now because of building structures on the Antaran ruins. This is an empire unique, costs 700 
production. The only point in making this though is if you're able to, well if you've got a big enough fleet to attack the entire homeworld and you need probably an end game fleet really before even thinking about doing that. I would need a uh, Doomstar which is an Empire unique ship and Titans before going for them I think. Right, uh, available technologies. Come back to that in a second. A scientist made it. The Antaran ruins were decoded and revealed a method to create a portal to the Antaran pocket dimension. Built it at a strong system you can protect to prevent other races to enter. Something I may do if I haven't. Uh, well, it's either going to be that or conquering everyone. Whatever's quickest. Or tech victory. Probably conquest is going to be the quickest thing. Right out of those three. Right, automated movement is done this turn. It's a threatening fleets over there and there, supposedly. New ship design. The new ship design is. Even without me, that. our scientists have made a new discovery. Okay. So, next technology. I'm actually really tempted to go after that next. But I think, first of all, this is such an amazing tech, even if I'm not going for an economic win. Yeah, I'm going to come up here. So, this will also give marine pods, so I won't need so many transports. That's definitely going to be handy. The Space Academy means certain ships will cost less in command points, which may be beneficial, maybe not. And uh, the advanced military outpost, that's quite good as well. So let's go and pick up that next. Wouldn't say my tech's amazing yet, but uh, yeah, I've got tons of infrastructure to do on a lot of worlds. I'm going to take a minute out to update my build list. Okay, this is the updated build list this turn. There's some things I'm going to buy maybe in a few turns, but I'm going to save up a bit of money first. I've done all of the movement this turn so I've got the battleship can appear with the transports on route. It does have one with it. I moved the transports into the Dagon system. I didn't move the battleship or the space factory. Should be able to take that next turn though in theory. Uh, I've got the odd civil transport moving around to dump population. I've got transport which has arrived here. I'm probably going to buy one in that system and then conquer Gibber for the next turn. The main fleet is now there on that jump gate. Uh, there's another jump gate down there. The quickest route into that system is just moving along there though I think. That battleship is still protecting there but uh, yeah that's basically it for the turn. So next turn.